Hi, in this video we will have a look at how to replace an existing value from an array. So here I have an array called my array, and I did append two values here. So the format of the value I'm appending here is this way. So my array, then I got an ID and a name. And then I have another my array here, which again I have ID and the name. So the plan is I need to replace if the value 20 exists in this array, I want to replace the Smith value to Ray. Okay. So um, for that, we need to use another temp array. Then the next step is I'm using the apply to each loop. I'm iterating my original array, which is the my array that contains these two values. Yeah. Then under the condition, what I am doing here is I'm using an expression called item question mark ID here. Okay. The reason I'm using that is because I got a JSON formatted um, object here. So that's the reason I'm using the expression in that way. If you only got one value here, like without the ID or name, just the value only like 20 or just name, then you don't need to use that. You can just specify item. Okay. If you're using uh, in this format, then you need to specify what your your element name here. That is ID. Okay. And then item ID is equal to uh, than 20. Because it's numeric value, I, I need to forcefully converting that into uh, a string expression I'm using here. If it's a um, um, string value, you don't need to do that. So suppose if I'm looking for name uh, Smith or something, then here the expression is going to be item uh, question mark, uh, then single quotes uh, within the square brackets, single quotes uh, name. And then I can just put here as a Smith you know that's it uh, because of the numeric value i'm forcing that to uh, to the string value otherwise it won't match it okay then i am trying to what i'm trying to do here is um i'm declared a temp array also here so if there is a match here if it is equal to then i am saying i'm using the append to array temp array to say ID is 20 here and name is right. This is a new value I want. Again, you know, you can change the ID also here if I want, if you want. Then I'm um, using else, I'm using um, um, the old value storing in the temporary. So you can see here, just use that item as an expression in the temporary. Okay. So what it will happen then is when it iterates it, when it's find the corresponding value, it will, uh, you know, the replace the value you want, else it will store the exactly the old value here. So in this instance, um, you know, the if it's not matching, 10 is not equal to 20 here, then it will use that item expression. That will be the whole, this value, it, it will be stored under the temp array. Then finally, outside the loop, so that's within the loop, all this, what you're seeing here. I'm going to minimize the outside loop. Okay, minimize the loop. Then I'm using the send um, variable, uh, my array to replace with my temp array. That will, my new array will contain, uh, my old array will contain uh, the new value which I want. So basically I'm replacing the temp array to the my array. So let's test this and uh, see the result we are going to get. All right. Okay. So um, you can see here under the apply to each, the first one is false because the first value you can see uh, we appended the 10. Value 10 is it's not going to match the 20 we want. So it's going to append to the old to that item expression which is taking the exact value into the temporary. The next one it's going to be true because there's a match here. Then the match I'm saying okay this is the new value I want. What you can change as I mentioned earlier like you can change the ID and the name whichever the one you want. And then under the set variable we are replacing the you know the my array uh, value uh, assigning to the uh, temporary value here and that is the new result it will be now under my my array you can see it's 10 david and 20 ray the smith is replaced with ray now okay hope this is useful thank you for watching